Hello, everyone. Um, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to um, to introduce uh, this inter very interesting use case. So uh, what you can expect from the next few minutes is that I will introduce you to the um, possibility to set up the um, thin edge uh, locally through uh, through a UI. <coughs> So we, we learned that uh, most of the time it's already provisioned and uh, automatically uh, set up, but very often, for example, in, in, in troubleshooting uh, sessions or in, in, if you want to, to do a retrofit, there is a, there is a need to, um, to, to do a setup locally. And then it's very important uh, that that you have an, um, a possibility to do it uh, through a UI because <clears throat> you see it you see it here you are <clears throat> in a um, if you are a field technician for example so this started um, together with a with uh, one of our customers together with, with a partner for uh, a manufacturer for industry uh, industrial automation so a field technician who wants to provision to set up a connect um, um, a wind turbine to uh, to the uh, to its digital twin in, in the cloud um, starts uh, locally and and these technical field technicians they are not so IT savvy so they are not used to and don't want to work um, on um, on command line tools so they they prefer um, uh, a UI, a web UI, and this shields from all the complexity. It's not as error prone, and it uh, gives you more uh, security. So, what I will uh, show you um, a, a, a play of, of of a field technician who is in in the process of setting up um, their um, their local thin edge through a management UI, which you can see here. And at the same time, we want to see um, <clears throat> how it's represented um, in, in the cloud um, to see its its digital twin. So what you see here is uh, the, um, the device management on, of Cumulosity um, IoT. Besides, it, it offers a lot of other capabilities. What we concentrate on for the moment is the device management. So um, the aspects of, of uh, registering a, a device and see the process data as it as it comes in. Okay, so let's get back to um, to being now. I'm in the role of a field technician, which you s is very very well seen here on um, it was this orange um, uh, um, color. You see it here. I'm I'm on on local host. I'm so I'm connected locally. Um, connecting a, um, um, the um, gateway from a wind turbine to my my cloud. So next thing is I <clears throat> I want to 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 set it up, and it uses um, 509 certificates. So the first step is um, people that have gone through the command line setup are familiar with this. So I um, I enter here the required information. For example, um, here I give the device um, a name and tell, uh, uh, say, what is what is the cloud tenant? And <clears throat> now I'm already. Um, um, it's it's possible to to do the first step. The first step is that I generate the device, which you can see here, and it's um, um, it's it's the first step. And you can you can follow you can follow the the different steps here on the on the on the command line, and now um, the next step is to connect it to your cloud tenant. There are two options: you can either download the certificate and upload it through um, through the management UI here in Cumulosity, or what I will demonstrate to you in the next step is there's a little bit more. Uh, it, it, it's easier if you do it here. So I connect it um, through, um, I give the uh, required um, credentials here, and now I can start uploading um, uploading the certificate. 
you have seen it was um, um, it was successful. And <clears throat> now what happened in in the background? So now I'm switching roles. Um, I'm the um, the central um, operator and see what are the uh, the relevant um, uh, devices that are about to register. OK, here is my my device and it was um, it has um, registered or it, it prepared to register with an uh, with, with a certificate that will expire next year sometime. But you can see that it uh, from three minutes past five that it was just created right now. So the next step is um, I'm I'm ready now. Uh, to control the um, thin edge device through this um, step. And here I have the, the next next part that I can control it and I start the edge. And in the background, what happens is that the bridge is is uh, created mosquito as a local um, as a local uh, MQTT broker is 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 started. And a few other, the mapper is, is started, and this was um, um, then um, uh, seen. So it, it it's a, it's uh, successful. So what we <clears throat> what we have done in the meantime is so we only started this here locally, and um, we can follow. You can follow what is uh, was what is happening locally by looking at. Um, at this status um, UI. So let's see uh, if we have done everything correctly. So where is my my agent? My agent is started. My touch mapper is started. So I connected to Comulosity, which you can see here. And these are, um, this is the mapper to uh, provide some data to us as well as collect D. So let's see what uh, what happened. So the, the the bridge and the mapper was were started. So something should have happened in the cloud. So now I switch over to the central instance to my local instance and refresh here and see how how my system behaves. And you can see um, it's five minutes past uh, five. And our new device has registered, and we see that um, that um, already some some measurements are, um, are already sent sent across to to the cloud. And <clears throat> what might be another use case is that you that you control the configuration or that you con that that you request logs. Before this is possible. I have to go back here to the to the local uh, instance and restart uh, the plugins. So my plugins for for enabling interaction for configuration management and log requests uh, have been started, um, and you can follow uh, this here nicely. Um, so everything works fine. So now I can I can go back here to the central instance. <laughs> now my central operator he wants to check on some uh, configuration. So it can some some time. Up. So here we go, and we can we can see um, <clears throat> what is available uh, down here. Um, and as well, the next step is you can you can request, for example, a log file. See what is what is happening in, for example, in the log. And this takes a, a short time, and then you can you can see that everything is done correctly, and the initialization um, of the the plugin was was done correctly. Um, one aspect is that you can see, visualize the, the uh, measurements as they come in, in in the cloud. But in the meantime, so for for example, one use case that we learned from this um, uh, this business case that I mentioned earlier was um, there there is a period 
when the local gateway is not connected to the cloud, but the actors and sensors are already connected and you might have an interest to see what is what is happening. Um, and that is that is possible here <coughs> through this uh, second part. So where you uh, where you can take a look at um, at your uh, at your measurements as they as they come in. So these are um, so it takes a short while until this initializes. Uh, I can. No, this is not behaving as as expected. Let's take a short look. Start everything is started. So I reload everything. No, okay, what I will do is I will stop, give it a second chance. I stop the edge. Stop the edge and start it again. And see if, if this helps. <coughs> While this is um, in process, maybe I can I can uh, switch over to um, the documentation because it's everything is um, is documented and pushed in a in a in a GitHub project. So we see. Um, so what I what I expected was to see here. So here. Um, can see how how this should should uh, look like. So here um, you have two options. Either in real time you you can see the measurements as they come in in real time, or you can um, you can uh, see the the measurements in a in a uh, historic. So so go back for a certain amount of time, for um, for ten minutes, for an hour, or or for even for for a longer time. Because as part of the solution, I scroll up now to the very beginning, so we see a little bit about the architecture, what is um, what this Docker solution looks uh, looks like. So it's a combination of uh, the Sedge. Um, so one one container contains the core process of the Syn, Syn Edge UI, and uh, what was added was a node server node.js server that hosts the web application that you that you have just uh, that you have just seen and <clears throat> the additional components is eventually we wanted to to uh, um, see the, the the measurements locally so for this we added um, um, a, a storage mongodb in this case and to to link it to uh, the Sedge UI, there's an additional uh, container that uh, only that listens to uh, to the Sedge measurements from 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 Mosquito and sends it off to the MongoDB. And in in the MongoDB, uh, they can rest for a certain time. Um, if you um, if you download and, and build the solution, um, it's currently the time to live is set. To, to 30 minutes and then they are um, deleted automatically but this can be changed and um, once you 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 click on this administration dashboard uh, sorry on this analytics dashboard then um, the, the the measurements are are then um, queried from the mongodb and then streamed here to, to the node.js to be uh, to be shown in the analytics dashboard so um, this shows the most important uh, uh, the three um, important um, components as, as you see and down here you see um, um, what is required once you um, once you clone the repository um, you you build it and and then set it up you have to configure your docker docker host which is a requirement 
if you want to to run it on a, uh, for example, um, on a on a gateway, uh, a Docker host has to be re uh, represented uh, or exist, and the memory has to be uh, larger than than two gigabyte. Okay, so let's give it a second chance and see what happens. Uh, no, it's not behaving as I expect. I try to too often, but it was um, it, it, it's working uh, very well. So I will uh, later check on what what happened here in, in, in the meantime. And there's another section uh, here. You can um, add your, uh, your your cloud credentials and see check from the local device if the registration was successful in, in this case. OK, that is what I wanted to show and uh, present to you. Um, so I'm happy to, to listen to your questions. Thank you very much for your attention.